The Lord Mayor of Banjul City Council, Rahim Aleklo, embarked on a side visit to assess the ongoing project at Crab Island School in Banjul on Thursday. This visit aimed to acquire force and information and evaluate the progress of work at Crab Island School, which is currently undergoing rehabilitation as part of the CityLink Ostande Banjul EU project. This initiative aligns with the Banjul City Council's development plans for the country's capital. Following her tour of the project site, Mayor Lo addressed the media and refuted allegations of misappropriated funds for the school's rehabilitation. She stated that those making such claims were attempting to politicize the project in an effort to seize control of it. So, of course, we have our ups and downs and many of you, I didn't want to go back there, but it's very, very important to say this because transparency is important. Many have been saying, Mayor Besachana Halisby, the mayor has stolen the money, the EU project cannot go, blah, blah. But I can tell you, and with confident, with confident, that the EU project has, the BCC has absolutely not misused or mismanaged any funding from the project. The only time I had a disturbing news about the project, it was when, the, the, uh, when it was time of Ramadan or, I don't know, Toboski or... Um, uh, Christmas, I cannot remember any more of it, that the steering committee have the, the go ahead from, the, from Austin to, to, to loan themselves, I think it was each 15,000 or 20,000, I cannot remember. And combined together, it was about $200,000 or less than $300,000. And the project is 3 million euro. 3 million euro times by 7. That is $210 million. So for God's sake, you cannot come and hold them responsible for, for 300,000. Which I, if I knew that before, I, I, would, I could have said, no, it's not going to happen. But it went directly from the steering committee to, to Belgium. And they said yes. So now, because they also have their own uh, 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 politics or they want to hijack the project, which I said, no, it's not going to happen. So they use this as a collateral to say, okay, project we monitor them because then like a house, and it's not true. I want to say this very clearly. Today, Kugis Scrab Island, Kugis Scrab Island today, you will see it. I'm not development, but have no more fear them on. The Lord Mayor told journalists that those critics have now joined her to ensure the success of the project. She urged the people of Banjul to take ownership of the project as it belongs to them. The noise was too much, and now, they have gone down, now they are not talking about the inside the they are not talking about this, they are involved in the project. And this is what I want. Can we go to a project, but they wanted to politicize it. I said no, I didn't come here during, the, during my campaign because I don't want to use it as a political tool. But indeed I spoke about it, I speak about the project because project B, the most historic And I want to thank the citizens of Banjul. So fair when the voter look my one, my new fee. And let me tell you, this project is 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 uh, uh, environmental friendly. But for in in you niko ame moi the new CEO ni women empowerment. So te isu mahame nyonge hamne nyonge don nyonge don has project. Te nyonge disi boka. Manda ma kontan because project we do suma luma luma don na si suma buy project we buwa banjula. And I've been saying this over and over again. Jellin ownership of the project, yen ako mom. Ken mom ako, it's not the mayor or councillor or anybody. Yen yen ako mom. Take ownership from time to time, come and look. So, when you say, Lord Hamne, come to Ibumanye, you may say, ah, definitely, then you are a ceiling, then you are a deflate, then you are a deflate. I call the attention of the con uh, uh, contractor, the consultant, and everybody. And the steering committee are also with me to say, hey, go back to the drawing board and understand that you were a use lee. I need lay. So, we need to have the ceilings there. And it's going to happen. Meanwhile, Mr. Lamin Jada, the project contractor, highlighted some of the challenges they face, but informed journalists that the rehabilitation would be completed before December 2023. What happened is we were having a little bit delay before because of the flood that happened in Banjun before, and I think everybody was aware of it. But now we came back with full force to finish the project. I'm, my concern is uh, the building I'm doing, I'm trying to advocate eco-friendly. Because um, Echo is one of the best in the world, I can say, especially in Africa. Because we have so many natural resources that we can use. Then we're stopping ourselves using other materials. And it's cheaper also than other materials we're using here. 
So we are programming to finish this project before December. The rehabilitation project comprises four lots, including a multipurpose hall, radio station, recording studio, laundry, food processing, kitchen and restaurant, gym, basketball lawn, offices, and a landscape with a walkway that connects different buildings in the school. Reporting for Kerfaru, I am Landin Caesar.